Hi! Welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Thinker. Today we are going to install speedtest.net component. We'll start in 10 seconds. Now we will be adding speedtest.net component. Let's open file station. We'll go into the Docker Home Assistant folder and we will open configuration file. Here we have to first define that we will be using uh, speedtest.net components. So let's type here speedtest.net net and this is it component is configured and it really is but we will not leave it to the default values because as fast.com speedtest.net also defaults to checking download speeds every hour on the hour and we want to increase this interval to 30 minutes so scan interval and we will define that we want to do it in minutes uh, unfortunately, this is bad practice. I put it like this. Okay. And as I said, we will define it as 30 minutes. So let me just align this as it should be aligned properly. But this is not it. At this point, if we would leave it like this, we would have the same data we get from the fast.com. That's also okay. You can have two programs or two uh, components checking the internet speed. And you can verify the difference between one and the other and, for example, what or your ISP is telling you you are using. But what the difference between the speedtest.net and fast.com is that we can here also define a monitor conditions. So let's type monitored conditions. And we want to monitor couple of conditions. First of all, we want to monitor download. Of course, same as fast.com. But we are also interested in upload speeds and we are interested in ping. And this is it. Our speedtest.net component is configured to monitor those three conditions every 30 minutes. Let's save this file. And we can now go back into the Home Assistant and there we will check the configuration. Okay. Let's go into the configuration, server control, check configuration. Everything is OK. We will now restart our Home Assistant server. And the server is back up and running. Uh, we can go to developer tools, logs, check if you have any new issue, nothing here. Let's go back to the overview. And here we will be adding a new entity. And this time we will be adding all three entities we just created. It's pet, uh, speedtest.net download, speedtest.net upload, and speedtest.net ping. We will call it test.net and we will remove and press save. Okay. We still do not have any data in the speed test uh, component. If we want to check it, we go to the developer tools, services, and here we just select speedtest.net, speed test, and we call the service. As it said, it will now uh, immediately take a speed test using speedtest.net. No other parameters are needed. And this is it for today's episode of the Home Assistant How To with Beard Thinker. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any kind of a question or comment, please leave it down below. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button. And of course, a like is much appreciated. Thank you, bye-bye, and have fun.